hi friends welcome to our youtube channel it support and today we are going to learn how to configure active directory server <coughs> into your windows server so in order to install active directory in your windows server you need to open administrative tool then uh, server manager inside the server manager you need to go into role and in this role section you need to add roles so active directory is the role of the server so click on add roles so it will show you the message that before you continue verify that administrator account has the strong password network settings such as static IP address so this is mandatory while you are configuring Active Directory server if we are not configured these things then it will prompt us to create administrator account and network setting with the static IP address okay the latest security update from Windows update are installed so in order to configure active directory you should be installed the latest security updates if you have to complete any of the preceding steps cancel the wizard complete the steps and then run wizard again okay so this is these are the message so if you want to continue just press next now here you can install multiple role at the same time or you can install single single role at the at different different stages so <coughs> if you install active directory server it is mandatory to install DNS server also because active directory is working on the base of DNS server so here these are the two three four five these are the active directory service which will install while you are installing the active directory server <coughs> so we are going to install active directory domain service active directory domain service so you cannot install active directory domain service unless the required feature are also installed so as I told earlier it required the different features different packages that you need to install before configuring the active directory so it is saying that 3.net framework 3.5.1 work uh, one is required to install active directory domain service so let's add required feature okay say next so introduction to active directory domain service is providing in the introduction here you can see things to note the additional information okay now say next so to install the following role role service or feature click install so this might need to restart your server it will be restart so active directory domain after you install active directory role use active directory domain service installation wizard dc promo.exe this exe is responsible to install the active directory role to make the server fully functional domain controller so what we are doing here we are installing active directory domain server domain service so DC promo is the exe which responsible to install active directory domain service so let's say e install so it will start installing the active directory domain service so first it, first it will install dotnet framework 3.5.1 feature and accordingly So before proceeding uh, installation of Active Directory DS, uh, we got one warning that window automatic update is not 
enabled so as i told you earlier we seen the um uh, the alert before installing active directory that these are the mandatory things that we have to do might be we are getting some other warning while installing the active directory and then we need to rectify all of them so windows automatic update is not install enabled to ensure newly installed role automatically update turn on the windows update in control panel okay so <clears throat> let me update the automatic update let me uh, enable the automatic update go into control panel small icon windows update ok turn on automatic update checking for update so it will check for the update meanwhile let me check the IP address taken by this machine because right now this machine is not a AD oh sorry not a DHCP so and also this machine <clears throat> so after enabling uh, automatic update let's start again with the active directory installation so uh, it is not proceeded and it is added into the role so let's start to configuring uh, active directory domain service so this server is not yet running as a domain controller run active directory domain service installation wizard so i press here okay so let's continue to install okay so here you can uh, choose the option use advanced mode installation or you can also leave it just press next so it will show you all the details that windows server 2008 and domain control have new more secure default so it will show you the features so it will ask now it will ask for uh, existing forest do you have any existing forest or you are creating a new domain in the new forest so we are not having any existing forest so we are creating a new domain in new forest so press next now it is again giving me the error the local administrator account become the domain administrator account when you create a new domain the new domain cannot be created because local administrator account password does not meet the requirement okay so let me create the administrator account because we have not created this administrator account yet so let's type the command net user administrator and set uh, any of the password like hmm. So set the password like uh, mm, one minute. Let me activate the administrator account from control panel. and group going to users and here you can see this is administrator going to property now user must send ok so user is created now change its password set the password proceed and set its password now password has been set now again proceed with the installation of active directory now press next 
now it will ask for fully qualified domain name so here you need to give the domain name of your um, network so I'm gonna use bmax dot local so this is the domain name which I'm going to use press next checking whether the new forest name is already in use so if it is in use in your network it will prompt you otherwise it will create the bmx dot local domain definitely it will not able to find because I'm not having any bmx dot local <coughs> now it is verifying the net bios name okay done so set forest functional level so it will ask you to set the functional level okay forest functional level windows server the windows server 2000 the forest functional level provides all features that that are available in windows 2000 forest okay so it is inheriting the property from the 2000 windows 2000 forest functional level and the following additional feature linked value these all the features which is which will be linked now you will be able to add only domain installation running server 2003 or letter to this forest okay so press next so it is examining the dns configuration so as i told you DNS is required to install Active Directory Server so it is going to examine the DNS configuration so uh, so here it is going to install DNS Server and what additional information it is providing here the first domain control in, in the forest must be global catalog server and not and cannot be RODC read only domain controller so it is uh, it is saying that the first domain controller will be not the RODC okay and we recommended that we you install DNS server service server service on the first domain controller the first domain controller should have DNS service it is not mandatory if you are installing the second AD server in the same domain so it is not uh, necessary to install DNS on the second domain uh, active directory domain server but uh, with the first you need to install DNS so let's say next so this computer has dynamically assigned IP address so we need to define a uh, static IP address okay so yes the computer will use an uh, IP address automatically assigned by DHCP whatever no I will assign static IP address to all physical network adapters so let's assign that because I'm having four additional adapter in this machine so I'm going to assign static IP to my first adapter here now click property now assign the IP address 192.168.1.192.168.1.101 okay and then I'm going to proceed with the Okay, so I assign the IP address. Okay, a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found or it is not run Windows DNS server so here I'm not going to delegate any of my 
roles or properties from this server to another so I want to go continue yes so these are the database which will be going to create by Active Directory server and NTDS is a database directory where Active Directory store its information it is in C windows you can also define another place but this is the default NCSQL is a shared shared folder created by Active Directory in order to share the information with another Active Directory server so here it if any changes made between two Active Directory server if you have Active Directory server 1 and Active Directory server 2 and both are into the same DNA same network and you are sharing information from one to another so this information will be shared uh, stored in sysfall and these are these these value will be uh, shared by both of the active directory so I'm going to keep as it is and say next now here you can define active directory password so that in future see what is saying the active directory server restore mode administrator account is different from the domain administrator account and so once we install active directory domain server domain service so it will create one more administrator account which is the head of the domain and one is local administrator account so there will be two administrator account will be created one for local and one for a domain server so assign a password for domain um, administrator account that will be used when the domain controller is sto started in active directory service restore mode we recommend it that you choose a strong password so here this is the password for restore mode okay so say next doesn't match this password doesn't not meet okay it required a complex password so it is giving me the summary that configure this server as the first active directory domain controller in the forest net bios name is a domain name then functional level is all detail will be provided here so that you will be confirmed that you did all the steps are right and you can proceed next or you can export the setting as a script you can also uh, download a script from here for the future if you want to install by a script you can download the script from this setting now press next now it is finalizing your setting installing group policy management once the active directory service is created the group policies and, uh, and all related information will be applied to the active directory into the server <coughs> it will take some time to apply all the related policies configuring the local computer to host active directory domain service directory setting the LSA policy securing machine securing C drive configuring DNS service into the computer it's all are going to be configured
so completing the active directory domain survey installation wizard so let me finish it so you need to restart it so say restart now After restart, it is applying computer settings. Preparing your desktop. So now I, I in. So here it is showing me the add roles which are the roles are installed so DNS server active directory domain services both are got installed so this is how we configure the active directory domain service let me go and open active directory users and computers active directory sites and service active directory module for Windows PowerShell, Active Directory Domain and Trust, Active Directory Administrative Center. So these ADSI, these all services got installed through Active Directory Domain Service. So now we can manage Active Directory users and computers through this wizard. See here, bmx.local is our Active Directory Domain now you can add users in this folder you can add a user see this administrator is the domain administrator is created over here now you can add another users and uh, you can connect your client machine with this domain so let me show you how you can connect uh, how to connect the client machine to this domain so in order to see this you can refer my next video to how to connect your client machine to this domain server also you will see how to configure DHCP server into this server okay so thank you for watching go to watch my next video bye bye